In mid-June, we decided to drive across Scotland to the Isle of Mull for actually a very sunny summer holiday this week. We made a pit stop for a night in Fort William and then we got packed, stocked and headed for the ferry to the island. We finally made it to Mull. Um, it took us a wee while. We stopped over in Fort William last night and we've driven to a beach, which I can't remember the name of, but I will put it on the screen. And we, let's look at the sunset. Lovely. We cooked our dinner. We had some hot chocolate and brownies. And yeah, the weather's been amazing and it's meant to continue all week. So we've got two more days of camping. So I hope it at least stays sunny for then because camping in the sun is so nice and camping in the rain is very much not nice. So yeah, so far so good. Um, and we're only at the beginning, so hope you enjoy. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? How come it is extremely hot today. We just tried to do a walk around the beach to these arched rocks, which is about, I think, like a 7k walk, but we only got halfway around before we had to turn because we just don't have enough water and it's roasting. So I'm now scouting at the area for a swim because I need it. But it looks a bit like it's so stagnant, even though we're on the coast. So I think we might go and find a sea walk elsewhere because, yeah, we are wild camping. So shower where you can, aka the sea. But yeah, it is a really nice day. I'm just dying of heat. <laughs> Sometimes hides behind the clouds. Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down? When it's grey outside It really makes me wonder Yeah, it makes me wonder It really makes me wonder Ooh, I wonder On day three, we packed up from our second camp spot and we headed over to the Isle of Iona for the day this is another tiny island off Mull and they had a famous abbey that we explored but the best bit was definitely the beaches. The sand was so white and the sea was so green. You literally could have been in Australia, it was so nice. And I think this was maybe my favourite swim spot of the trip. Until winter comes It really makes me wonder Yeah, it makes me wonder Good morning, we are on day three, day four, not sure, but we've just finished up our final camp of the night, or of the trip, and 
here, as you will have seen. It was so nice. We've actually been so lucky with all of the camp spots that we've had. I'm just going to sit in here because it's windy. Um, yeah, we've had such good luck. Like, all of them have been amazing. The only thing yesterday was it was quite midgy. There was a lot of midgy, so we couldn't really sit outside and enjoy it. And because it was so hot as well, we didn't really want to spend that much more time in the sun. But, like, it is really, it's really nice and hot, but it's, like, almost too hot. And it's about, it's coming up to nine, I'd say, now. And we are going to go up Benmore, which is there just behind us um so yeah we're gonna leave the car here go up come down probably have another swim oh also like just behind us at the top of the river there's like a pool that you can swim in as well that's really quite warm and that was really nice as well yesterday because there was quite a few jellyfish in the sea so we didn't really stay in there for very long but yeah so far so very good and tonight we're staying in an airbnb in tobermory so it will be nice to have a bed and a proper shower to be honest but yeah I'm excited. The views are going to be really good at the top if the weather stays like this, which it's meant to. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to make the sandwiches with the cheese and chorizo that's just been sitting in the car for three days. And if I was at home, I wouldn't eat it, but it's all we have. So I'm going to make some sweaty cheese sandwiches <laughs> and it's going to be delicious. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying nice. to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? Back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. We booked onto a boat tour miles in advance and luckily this day was again extremely sunny and also really calm and we saw dolphins on our way over to the islands and we stopped at two islands in total. If I could take you back to my youth, sure this first one is Staff Island which is the other end of the Giant's Causeway in Ireland and it is famous for its hexagonal rocks that formed after a volcano and there's a fairy tale attached to that as well if you want to have a look into it. The second island we went to was one of the Trishnish Isles, I think, and it was covered in seabirds, especially puffins, which was so cool, but also so loud and really smelly. And I felt very out of place without a massive HD camera because it seemed that there were lenses everywhere. Put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Feeling is all gone. Today is Saturday, it's a lot colder actually, which has been lovely. And we just did a wee walk to Lighthouse and now we're off to Calgary Bay to go paddle boarding and swimming. Come. So it's very pretty though. 
be a disaster. That was fun.